this is the first of what we hope will be a series of shows to raise awareness about uh, uh, comics with disabilities. It's called Disability Acts of 2000. Hopefully there will be a Disability Acts of 2001 and so on and so forth. And so we're all set. We're waiting on the crowd now. Good evening. Good evening. So they called me up and said, you want to be in a Disabilities Act? They said I was going to take the place of a dead guy. Oh. <laughs> okay, this will be nice. Jim asked me, he said, what are your qualifications? I said, aside from being an old bitch, <laughs> let's see. I got diabetes, a heart condition, uh, high blood pressure. I need two new knee replacements. Uh, I've had surgically induced menopause. I think I'm fucking qualified. <laughs> In the last three years, I've had a kidney transplant, a heart valve replacement, and two hip replacements. And they say I have one to go. I think they're trying to overcharge me. Oh, when I was about 17, I got a little touch of the arthritis, rheumatoid. And uh, it started with just a little pain, thinking a knee. Thought it was growing pains. And then that was just in the mornings when I'd wake up. And then after about another week, it was in the other knee, then a hip, then an elbow, and a knee. After about a month, I couldn't walk when I got out of bed. And my mom just, you know, was, kept saying, it's growing pains, it's just growing pains, it's growing pains. And then pretty soon she's going, it's just growing pains, it's just growing pains. I go, all right, mom. See that? That's not straight. That's not gonna, that's not natural. Those are expensive. Edition. And then now it is. That's fine. Back to normal. See? So I'm really not disabled at all. I thank y'all for coming out. All right? Oh, I got much more than that. I got a kidney from my brother. Is that cool or what? My brother Robert. You should have seen him when we woke him up and told him. Man, <laughs> he was pissed off. So you see, you see there is comedy in afflictions or in people's disabilities. Trust me on this because I didn't have the kidney transplant just so I could park closer. <laughs> Trust me on this. I need to get a uh, parking tag. I need to get a parking tag, I hadn't done that yet. Just procrastinate, and besides I need the exercise. As long as I keep moving, I'll be healthy. Once I get that parking tag, I don't have to walk as much, and that's when I go downhill. Uh, I'm nearing the end in a three and a half year period when that kidney apparently is not going to last me the rest of my life and I'm in something called chronic rejection. I'm not sure what that means. I think it means my checks are bouncing <laughs> over at the hospital. I'm not sure. But uh, if need be, maybe I'll have another kidney transplant or I'll go back on dialysis. We'll see. It's all gravy for me. So any time given to me at this point is all extra time. So I'm very thankful for that time. I think it's helped me in some ways, you know, with uh, women. You can always go with the sympathy, really good, works really well. Uh, you know, maybe like I can't walk or uh, I can't drive myself home, I'm too sore. Would you carry me in, put me in the bed? Um. <laughs> Somebody said, this is going to be, you're going to get so much material out of this. And I was sitting in the hospital and I couldn't think of anything funny then. It wasn't until a month or two after that I was out of the hospital that it suddenly hit me. Morphine! They will bring it to your room! <laughs> eh, I'd like some morphine, please. I thought the drug was just called fiend. I'd like some morphine, please. But luckily my doctor, he was always so supportive. He sat me down, he said, son, you got to remember, you're not dying of the disease. You're living with the disease until it kills you. <laughs> then you'll be dead from the disease. <laughs> and I was kind of taking that to heart. And uh, I live every day like it's my last. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not the only ones that suffer from things. There's people a lot worse off than, than I am. But um, the beauty of it is just try to make people aware 
that uh, that people with handicap, uh, handicaps or afflictions of any kind, are, are people too. As we're comics, we're comics as well. And then Jeannie came in, greased them all up. <laughs> I worked them over. Jim dried them off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, you guys have been fun. Thanks for our first disability acts. Good night. Somebody grabbed me as soon as I walked in and said, uh, we, they just, they didn't, decided not to charge anybody. Well, that's going to seriously affect how much we're going to make. Accepting <laughs> donations for MS. If you'd like to contribute, please, we ask you that you please. I don't know, am I supposed to do like a soliloquy here? Thank you. Or?